hello, hello from Kyrgyzstan. You guys have probably gotten used to our hotel room tours around the world, but this time around we're staying at a yurt camp. And if you've been watching our Kyrgyzstan videos, you may have gotten a few glimpses of our yurt, but we're going to be showing you the whole complex. So right now we're staying at the Beltam yurt camp and we're on the shores of Izakol Lake and we're just outside Bokumbayevo, that's the name of the town. So now that you know where we are, let's actually go inside the yurts. Come along. And we are what? We are the mountain goat. There are no numbers for the yurts, just cool drawings. So we got the mountain goat at the very end of the property. So come on in. That seems appropriate. We seem a bit goaty, don't we? <laughs> so basically you have two sets of doors. You have this kind of like flap that we rolled up to let in some fresh air. Yeah. And then you also have ugh, ugh, these wooden doors that we close at night. So two sets of doors. And now come on in. There's no electricity in here, so it's a little bit dark, but follow me. So this is it. You're inside our yurt. And technically this yurt sleeps three people, but it's just the two of us in here. Although our suitcases have exploded, so it looks really messy. And we've actually taken over the three beds. Yeah, guys, we, we've, we <laughs> in the past, we've intentionally cleaned up for you, but not this not time. Not this time. This is what... This is how much of slobs we basically really are. Actually, my side is tidier than Sam's. But anyways, we'll let that slide. <laughs> Not by much. <laughs> so if you take a look at the ground, it's basically carpets. So they've put down a, a sheet of plastic so that we're not like trailing in sand and dirt. Yeah. And then it's just a whole bunch of carpets on top. That plastic is right there. Yeah. And then for right our here. beds, we have mattresses yes. with lots of duvets. But we have slept in yurts where you don't get a mattress. It's just like blankets and mats. Yeah. So this is pretty comfortable. No, this is really nice. Yeah. This, it's really nice to have a mattress like this. Mm -hmm. and, and I just love how colorful it is. I know, it's wonderful. Like, check it out. Look at look even up top here. It's yeah. so cool. And I don't know if you've mentioned this, but we've been getting the best sleeps here. Oh my gosh, yes. So, like I mentioned, there's no electricity. We just have a few candles that we light at night. Yeah. So that means we get to bed. Show, show me the other one early. that has all the wax. It has the melted wax. The on wax it. is running off. Look at that. So we've yeah. been lighting, we've been lighting that at night. Yeah. And then as soon as we're ready to sleep, we blow it out, mm -hmm. and it's basically pitch black until the morning. Yes. But yeah. the nice thing is that we're here in June, meaning mm -hmm. that like it's it's light out by five in the morning. Yes. And it stays light out until eight, around eight thirty at mm -hmm, night, mm -hmm. meaning like it's. So we've been going to sleep at like nine, yeah. nine thirty, I would say, and we just conk out. And we've been we've been packing in our days with a lot of sightseeing, hiking, horse trekking. So by the time we go to bed, we're exhausted. We're out, like like we're, we're exhausted, and we're sleeping through the night. We're not yeah. waking up at all. So. All right, and as you may have noticed, there is no toilet in here. No. So we're gonna give you a tour of the rest of the camp. So follow me out. All right, so before we take you to the bathrooms, we're actually gonna show you the dining yurt because that's on the way. And that's an even bigger yurt and everyone gathers here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we all eat together. So come on in. So the table isn't set up yet because it's still a little bit early in the afternoon, but basically we have like a, a horseshoe shaped table, like a U shape, and people sit on either side and it just gets packed here at night. And we all drink tea, and we have plov. Sometimes we have noodles. So yeah, we've we, been eating what, really we, well. We even had some local uh, brew last night. It was really good. Oh yeah, yeah. There was like vodka and champagne. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's fun. It's like it feels like very communal, and like you all share yeah. your meal together, and you get to know the and other guests. I have guests. to say, the, the meals here have been fantastic. Yes. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, we've been having like thirds and fourths, like seriously. not just seconds. If we weren't doing all this hiking, we would be getting seriously <sighs> fat. So then across from the dining tent, you have the bar area and you can basically hang out here all day. They've got like sofas, actually not sofas, benches, benches and tables. And you can have tea, coffee and like just buy other drinks. Um, that's where you can also charge your phone, your yeah. camera batteries. And, and any you can't buy beer. I've been having some nice Sam's local been enjoying beer. Beers. And at night so, yeah. they, they play a little music. They do so. play music. But yeah. we've, we've usually been crawling off the bed. We go to bed at nine. So we, <laughs> we miss out on the party. So sad. And now for the bathroom situation, I know that's probably the scariest part about sleeping in a yurt. And in other camps, we have had toilets where it's basically like an outhouse and like you have these two wooden planks and you just hover and do your thing. <laughs> but the bathrooms here are actually really, yeah. really good. They're modern. They're modern. You have flushing toilets. You have a real sink where you can wash your hands. So let's go take a look so, yeah, at one. We'll show you one. Come. This is a bit weird. Check 
the bathroom. I hope the bathroom. <laughs> hopefully no one's in there. Yeah, hopefully no one's in there. But yeah, as you see, it's modern toilets. So have a look, see. See, not so bad. Not so scary. Not so scary. So the only thing you have to remember is that you can't throw your toilet paper down the toilet or that may cause some problems. So each stall has like little garbage bins. Um, so yeah, all that's left now are the showers and the showers are pretty cool. There's a donkey, check it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you want to wash your hands and hang out with Mr. Donkey Friend. Hello donkey friend. Ready for the shower tour. So we've got two showers and maybe let's check this one out. Let's see. No, maybe some. Oh, that's how you open it. Ha ha ha. Okay. Ta da! Ta da. So, yeah, you've got like your shower head here. You can hold it up. Do your thing. Yeah. And, and then yeah, you just have like these like wood boards. What would you call it? Like planks? Yeah, they're kind of like planks. And then yeah. down here, you're going to want to make sure that you have some flip flops because otherwise that would really hurt to walk on bare feet. Yeah. And then you have like these little tree branches that act as like yeah, hooks. That's so cool. That's you can my put favorite. Your towel and they, and have your a, over they have a lot of them. So you can like bring a lot. Yeah. You can bring your towel yeah. and all your, your new, a new change of clothes. And you know what? I was a little nervous about showering here first because I feel like I can see through the cracks. Yes. But when you're on the other side, you can't see anything. We did a little test. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to see you naked. So there's one more thing we want to show you. I call this the courting swing or at least that's how it was explained to me but basically when we were at the World Nomad Games last year we learned that these swings are really popular with couples who are like getting to know each other because I guess the guy stands on one end and the girl on the other and you just swing back and forth and you chat and it's like an acceptable way for like a guy and a girl to be seen together. So I think we should demonstrate how this works. <laughs> are you ready Sam? If we don't fall we're ready off. to go on the courting we don't swing. Fall off. <laughs> All right, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Well, there you have it. That's basically a taste of what staying at a mid-range yard camp is like. Obviously, you can find much more basic camps and luxury camps as well. I think we've done pretty basic ones in the past, and we're actually doing a luxury one outside Bishkek yeah. coming up, so that'll be fun. That'll be really exciting. Yeah, and but I would really recommend it. If you're yeah. coming all the way to Kyrgyzstan, you need to stay in a yurt. Absolutely. That, I was just going to say that. If you're coming to Kyrgyzstan, mm -hmm. not doing a yurt stay is like, yeah. yeah. Total no, <laughs> total no no. So definitely uh, come check out this place and um, highly recommend it. And mm -hmm. especially the food was good here. We're gonna miss oh the, my food. Gosh, the food. Oh my gosh, the food. leave tomorrow. Oh, those great meals. <laughs> Three meals a day. Anyways. Anyways, that's it from here, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Ta da!